Our first task in learning Library 2.0 is to create your blog. So let's point our browsers to www.blogger.com and I realize that there are a lot of other blogging programs out there on the web but we're going to use Blogger because it'll just simplify things as far as um, our resources and our sharing, our knowledge sharing that we're going to do on the Learning Library 2.0 blog. So go ahead and click the Create Your Blog Now button you see. And next we have to create a Google account. If you already have a Google account, that's fine. Just use the sign in first link. But if you don't, just use your staff email. And then you're going to have to enter a password. And Blogger is going to evaluate whether or not the password is strong enough. This one works, so I'm going to retype it. And then I'm going to put my display name. This is the name that's used to sign all of my blog posts and that's going to be on my profile. The next section is a word verification and this is to prevent robots from creating blogs. So you're human, type in the letters as you see them. If you have problems with this, you could click on this button and listen to the numbers. You also have to accept the terms of service and then click the orange continue arrow. Now we have to name our blog. Um, so I'm going to name this Marianne's uh, Library 2.0 Learning Blog. And then I have to give it an address. Now the blog address is the um, the field that's the address that's going to be in this field in the uh, address field in your browser. Uh, the URL, Universal Resource Locator. So this is something that you want to try to make as simple as possible. Hopefully you're going to be passing it around and showing your blog to others. Um, so I'm just going to put Mary Ann's um, library blog. Whoop. I do want to check the availability because otherwise I'll go through this again and again and again. Um, it's going to let me know if the blog address is available. It is not. It's made some other recommendations. Um, so I like this one, Marianne's Library 2.0 Learning Blog. That's fine. So uh, next there's another word verification and I have to put these in WN Whoop, N M X E. And now I click continue. So now we're going to pick a design or a template for the blog. And you can scroll down and see which one of these you like. And you're welcome to pick any one of them at all. Um, you can customize this in quite a few ways uh, if you know a little bit of HTML or some CSS but for our purposes let's just go ahead and uh, let the default sample template work for us. Uh, the blog has been created so now I want to start posting and the title for my first post should be something like um, my very first blog post. And then I click in the body of the posting field and hopefully it will not lag too badly. This is a live demonstration. I want you to see exactly how it works. Uh, without any editing so I may have some lag time because I've got a lot of programs up but there we go it's pretty cool now there are a lot of things that you can do as far as formatting I want you to explore these buttons but for our purposes today let's go ahead and click publish because I want to see our blog There we go. Now click on View Blog and there it is. Now Blogger has really, really good help files and
and I want you to explore those. Uh, explore all your little buttons and here are we can rearrange these little widgets. So that's another post. Good luck with your new blog. I hope you enjoy it and uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.